Oh, what's up, everybody? It's your old Papa Cheddar here, your cheese daddy, playing a demo, a preview demo at that, of Timberborn. It's a, uh, a new RTS game coming out where you play as some beavers. And, uh, and the demo ends tomorrow, actually, I do believe, but they say they have some big news coming out. So we're going to be the beavers of Demoria. And uh, you know what? They recommend the planes, but oh, baby, we don't do what's recommended. Oh, no, we're living on the edge, my friend. That's right, we're going on the canyon map here. All right, here we go. I'm going to hit the pause, get rid of that tutorial, and look at these adorable little beavers. Oh, my God, they're just they're so dang cute. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. This is a, this is a, uh, this is not that kind of channel, my beaverly friends. Um, but we got the, uh, nice little river running through it right here, baby. And, uh, the greenness, we got to prepare for the dry season. The greenness will go away as soon as that water starts depleting. So we gotta, we gotta do everything that we possibly can to prepare for that. Meow then, I have been playing this game a wee little bit over this weekend. So let us, uh... Yeah, we're gonna pop down a nice little, uh, nice little lumber spot right there. Doop -a doop boop boop. Tell these these cats, so well, I guess these beavers, to cut some trees. We're gonna cut all the trees because if there's one thing beavers love doing, oh, it's cutting trees. Let's go ahead and unpause that. Get a little dirt road going, and uh, I think jobs. Yep, jobs get auto assigned here. So you got three unemployed. Let's get a few more builders, baby. Oh yes. And now this game is actually so stinking fun. I'm really hyped about it. Though, uh, playing through the demo, like, there's a lot of things that you just can't do. Like, you see this little, this little red marker here. I can't get a large warehouse. Oh, no, I cannot. And there's a, there's a bunch of other things that I just, I just cannot do. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. We're, uh, we're going to enjoy it while we can, where we can. And let's pop a little, little gatherer's hut right there. And we need to rush water. Rush water. Rush the water. Um, because, I mean... You know, beavers got a drink, you know, beavers got a drink and some nice little some little roads going out here. There we go. Look at this beautiful, beautiful little uh, city here. Ah, and we can just come down here, watch the beavers chucking wood. Oh, look at that. That's a strong beaver right there. Mm, look at him on the march. Now, how much wood would a beaver chuck if a beaver would chuck wood? Well, that guy just chucked some. They sure did. I saw it. You saw it. We witnessed it. We sure witnessed it. And it's a nice thing. We start out with a little warehouse here. And it's so cool. You can do like, you can build on top of stuff here. So this is three different buildings right here with some raised platforms. So we got a builder's hut up top, storage warehouse down below. And then we got a lumberjack flag there. And you can see there's just like platforms built on it. Oh, it's so stinking cool. And I love the... Uh, the design of these buildings too. It's almost uh it's almost hobbit-esque. Hobbit tea or whatever, you know? And uh they got these these little sleeping mats. Yeah, it satisfies their sleep. But uh shoot, I don't know. Mm, should we delete it? I should delete it. Oh, uh, okay, I'm gonna delete it. Uh you wanna delete it? Yeah. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Now shoot, I should be looking out for our beavers better. But now one of them doesn't have a sleeping mat. See so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have 11 beavers. Where, where's all the other mats at? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure they're fine. They're beavers. They're they're animals. They're crustaceans. Or they're not crustaceans. That's crabs. They're not crustaceans. They're all mammals, I guess. Um, okay, well, you know, let's go ahead and speed things right along. Look at these. Look at these little beavers zipping around. Oh, I love it. Absolutely do. And uh, go through the UI a little bit here. We got our materials up top, and you can collapse, expand it, food, water, science, the almighty and powerful science. Praise him. Praise him. Okay, we got to slow it down just a hair. I'm going to take away a build there, and uh, that'll get us going on the, uh, yeah, our little water dude. But now we need the water holding tanks. Boop and a boop. There we go. Two should do for right meow. The first uh, I did find, I did discover upon playing the demos. Now in the demo, they only let you really play, uh, I think it's like two, two, they're called cycles right here. So they let you play through two full cycles. So that's a wet season and a dry season. You know, this is a nice, beautiful, luscious, wet season. Um, but it, it seemed to me that the uh, the dry seasons do get much, uh, much more worse the uh, longer that you go along. So like the second dry cycle, was worse than the uh, the first dry cycle, you know? I want to see these little beavers go to sleep. Come here. Come on. Go to bed. God, they're so fast. 
Why are they so fast? Just go to, okay, here we go. Shh, all right, guys, be quiet. We want to sneak up on these little beavers. Look at them. They're sleeping so peacefully. Oh, where's the one that doesn't have a sleeping mat? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, that's all of them. So I guess he just made a new sleeping mat. And you know what? That's good. That's good. I want. I didn't want him to uh, to be uncomfortable at nighttime. You know what I'm saying? I really did not, because I love my little baby beavers, baby. And uh, one one important thing to note is these white lines here, these markers, those are super duper important. So if we want to expand, as you're placing new buildings, that uh, each building is gonna have this kind of like white, um, white border around it. And there needs to be houses within that border for you to get beavers to that area. You know what I'm saying? So I need like a house right here if I'm trying to put a beaver down here, you know, or like over here or something, right? So it's, uh, you gotta pay attention to that. You gotta kind of, Kind of leapfrog with the zones. I ran into a problem. A problem with that. Yeah, I ran into a big time problem, baby. Ooh, uh, let's see, meow. We can do. Let's get a little. Oh, come rotate. There we go. Let's get a little housing complex. Um, like so. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do it like so. And like so. And then what? Another thing, baby. I want a little bit more lumberjackies. So let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, it'll do. Boop. There we go. And of course, a doop and a boop. Uh, I think they walk faster on the paths. Yeah, faster to walk on. So, you know, not a bad thing. Um, let's see. And all the trees. All the wood for my horde of beavers. My bodelicious beavers, baby. Ooh. Big bad beavers, big bad brown beavers, bringing it back. Yeah, that's right. And we got another lodge, lodge coming up here. We go. Let's see, meow. What do we got here? We got five homeless beavers. Each house holds three. So I need one more house. Yeah, and then we're good. And then what I want to start doing is kind of dam off this river. That's right. So, uh, ah, excuse me. Dry season comes. All this dries up. It sure does, it goes away, but by by creating these little, where is it? These little, yeah, dams and levees and stuff, we can divert the flows, we can change the flows, we can trap the flows, and then we can have more uh, more water for us and kind of continue on throughout that growing season. It's glorious. It's an ab absolutely beautiful thing, and it's great. Although I really, I don't fully understand all the mechanics. Like, we can get some dinamite. No, where is it? Nope, some dinamite right here. And we can, like, pop holes and dig trenches and stuff to, like, make the water go more inland so, like, all this area would dry up if we were to, like, move some water over here. You know, so, I mean, you can do a lot, like, especially over time. Now, in, uh, in the uh, uh, the demo here, it's not, we don't have a ton of time to uh, to do all that, right? Um, we're just going to create a dam right here. There we go. Blocks allows. Yeah, so the dam allows some water to pass through. So it'll allow water to keep flowing. But once the dry season comes, oh, honey buns, this is all going to stop and stay and keep us nice and hydrated and stuff. It's going to be great. Just you wait. Just you wait and see. And yeah, we should get a little more, a few more little water tanks. I want to um, I want to say it's like five, maybe five water tanks is what you want, is what you're after, at least for like the first cycle. These busy little beavers. Get on, get on out of there. Where are you going with that wood? Where are you going, honey? Hmm? Hmm? Where are you going? So one thing we can do is actually increase their working hours, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bump them up to 18 working hours a day. Cause I'm a, you know, I drive a, a hard ship. I drive a hard ship. Let's see. Oh, we got a beaver happy level high score four, four. So you can see here. Oh yeah, their hunger, thirst, sleep, comfort, all satisfied, baby. And then we got to work on their nutrition, social life, and um, I think that's like all we really can do in the demo here. I think we can do a little bit of the awe or whatever, um, but we can't do we can't do much of the of the stuff. Beaver, no job, no job. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Let's get uh, oh, there's two on that already. There's two on that already. Well, I guess let's get another builder. There we go. Our beavers, our baby beavers are all grown up. And then we got a new little babe or no, I guess that's an old little babe. That's an old little babe, yeah, but uh, that's okay. We're gonna need some more houses who, here soon, so our beavers can reproduce and uh, 
continue on the legacy of the great beaver horde of Chidaria. Oh, the beavers of Chidaria. And look at that. Our first little first little dam is going up here. Nyom. Look at that. Look at these busy. Little, let's slow it down. Well, no, come back here. All right, speed it up till they come back. Come on. Come on back. There we go. Now, I just love the art style of this game. I really do. It's so, it's like simplistic, but it's like, uh, you know, it's visually appealing. Even the water looks nice. You know, now granted, there's we're not going surfing or whitewater rafting down this river or anything anytime soon, but it's visually appealing to me. And I, oh, I didn't mean to pause. And uh, I absolutely like that. This here too, there's these like city ruins and stuff right here that you can uh, you can scavenge the metal from. And uh, it makes for some really cool, cool sights to behold. I think they're, yeah, over here, baby. Oh, look at this big old ruin city. Meow. And I imagine too, like uh, there's only the two maps right now, right? But once, uh, once we get more into the full release of the game, I imagine there'll be more maps, maybe even custom maps. Some procedural regenerated maps, you know? I can only hope. I can guess. I'm guessing. I'm going to guess. I'm doing it. Try and stop me. Uh, meow, though. So we do also need to get our food production going. I'm going to put a little farmhouse. I'm going to put a little farmhouse. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll tuck it in. I'll tuck it. I'll go to Nan Tuck it. And I'll tuck it right there. There we go. We'll tuck it right there. And of course, we got to do a little boop, boop, do. And let's just bring this one down like that. So I want to kind of line this whole street right here with, with some wilder tanks. There we go. Okay. Marvelous. The dam's coming along. Oh, come on. All right. We got to rush them. We're going to we're gonna speed through this. And uh, I, we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it with. I only got like maybe 25, 30 minutes with you cats and kittens. So I'm trying to get the most bang out of my buck and uh, hopefully hit the dry season with you cats here today. If uh, I don't know if that'll happen. We got like, I think it's like day 20 or something. Dry season comes. I don't know. I don't really remember, but uh, I'd like to see it and I'd like to show it to you because, well, obviously the demo ends after today. So, you know, I won't be able to really show you again for till it gets released. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That is our completed dam and that's going to save us a whole Heck of an awful lot in the long run. And I want to, I'm going to put just a little, little builder's flag, I think, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we'll tuck it in right there. Because why not? And uh, the lumberjack, this was, yeah, this was a lumberjack. He should be able to hit all these puppies. Come on. And a boop. Let's get all those trees. And uh, we'll just say, we'll just get all these trees too, right now. Because why not? Even though we can't really get to them just yet. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. So now hopefully we got to finish this up, finish our farmhouse. And I want to get some science going because the science will give you research points. And I just, oh, whoop, it's gone now. But I love the look of the science building. Hang on. Yeah, look at that. It's got like the little Archimedes screw up top right there and everything. And it's got like kind of the abacus right there too, which I don't know. I thought that was a really nice touch. I really, I found that to be really silly. Like little beavers just playing with an abacus, you know? What's uh, what's more cuter than that? I, psh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's what. Okay, well, saw it here first. But yeah, research is going to be important. That'll help us unlock uh, particular things like uh, well, like the forester here. That's, uh, that's something that's important because we need that to plant more trees and berries and stuff. Because, I mean, obviously, scanning out here, you know, uh, we're going to run out of trees here pretty soon. And that sure would be a real shame <laughs> it would be a real shame right you know yeah <clears throat> right i'd be very sad at running out of wood you know okay i'll stop i'm sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry what are you talking about ha ah, okay <laughs> i i enjoyed it whatever oh this guy's in the building okay well, i don't really want you there just yet not just yet okay yeah, slow your roll there, guy. Um, what's the next? I need this farmhouse. That's what I really stink and need right now. Although, took it, took it, took it, took it, too. We need more logs. All right, speed up. Go to gold. Get faster. Build better. And, uh, you know, I guess we can just kind of start. Let's do that. Let's plant some crappie dews. Um, so we got the carrots and we got some, uh, some patats. So we're just going to do a nice little... 
little carrot zone, little patat zone right there. And I mean, you honestly, you'd be surprised at how much farmland you can actually do with these little beavers. You know what I'm saying? It is surprising. It uh, it really truly is. Um, they can cover a lot of zone. But granted, once the dry season comes, like if you don't have enough farmers and you got a full yield of stuff, then you're going to be kind of scrambling, mad scrambling, scrambled eggs, just uh, trying to trying to get everything out of the ground, um, you know, before it all dies. Because, yeah, once the river goes away, then uh, plants die. You know, the trees and the berries, they kind of stay around there because um, they're hardy, I guess. I don't know. But your your potatoes, your patats and your carats, they will they will die. Yes, they sure shall. And uh, that will be a bummer. That will be a real bummer. Shoot, we can even come down here and open this puppy up too. Yep, it's a barrier. Can be demolished. I don't know that I want to do that just yet. Um, and there's no real reason to. Well, yeah, you know what? Let's uh, screw it, right? Let's do that. We're going to demolish and we're going to demolish. And the like, yum, come on down here. Set the set the charges. Let's see. This and look at that. We got a cute little wrecking ball. Wrecking ball uh, stickers right there or something. I don't know. It's cute, though, is what it is. Ooh, and there's our farmhouse. Nice. All right, so, so you've taken two beavers off of that and putting two beavers onto the farmhouse. Why is there why is there only one beaver? Where did the other beavers go? One, two. Did someone die? No. Okay, hang on. Where did they go? Two at the builders, one at the farmhouse. Gather, invent, oh, the inventor's hut. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's going to, over time, slowly start generating science. Science! And, uh, you know, one one will be okay for meow. Once this guy's done blowing these things, and we're going to build another little little dang right here. Um, yeah, then, uh, then maybe he can go be a farmer. Yeah, we will need new houses, too, though which we're going to put over kind of here-ish, so that way we can kind of keep moving. Just keep this keep this moving. I like to move it, move it, you know what I'm saying? We are going to need another storage. Storage spot, log pile, log pile. Boop, there we go. So then that'll kind of extend the range out. See how this only makes it right here? So this log pile will make it to like over here kind of thing, and that'll be more better. -er. And it's kind of cool too, like the builders, and I think the lumberjacks too, when they're in their downtime, they transport goody goods between the warehouses, so that way everywhere stays kind of even, you know? Evenly uh, evenly matched, evenly mix-matched. And uh, let's speed things up here, shall we? We need a little more water storage as well. Oh, here we go. Come on, blow them. Blow the dams, baby. Flood the river. Flood the valley. Leave none behind. Let them all get washed away. Oh, okay. Let them all get washed away in the righteous watery rush of the beaver flood. Come on there, Broomhilda. Or probably not his name, her name. I don't know, beaver's name. What would a good beaver name be? If you guys got any ideas, let me know, because I think Broomhilda the beaver, oh, here comes the floodgates. They are open, dun, dun, no. All the little ants run for their lives, or cockroaches, I guess, because this is a post-apocalyptic world, and... Apparently now we have super intelligent, highly evolved beavers. Oh God, it's coming. No. It's kind of cool too. It just like slowly filters in there and it slowly rises up along the sides. I really, I really like that. It's really neat. Okay, but we do got to put another little dang in here. A boop. There we go. And uh, yeah, shoot. We're moving right along. Look at this cute little guy, just planting all these things. Now these carrots, they those look suspicious to you guys. Um, I don't know if they're really what they're growing here. Uh, uh I mean beavers do need a good pastime, right? <laughs> but shoot, look at this cute little farmhouse. Oh, this game's just so adorable, so adorable. And we're almost at our uh, our water quota that I would like to reach, and we're almost out of berries as well. See, we it's a good thing we got this farm up and running when we did. Although they're only like, shoot, 25-ish percent for the most, the most uh, groundest, the most, the mostest, that's groundest. You know, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know what I'm saying. 
slap a little road down there and let's go ahead and slap another warehouse down here too yeah that'll extend that'll extend some more of the range we can start moving moving over this way you like to move it move it you like to move it move it you like to move it there we go gotta need these guys down here chopping these and looks like well these guys won't be able to get the really tippity top ones or whatever that's okay. And you know what? I think we need to do. We need to plant some more, uh, bing. And, uh, a bing. There we go. Got some trees in the way. But that's okay. You think? I mean, why can't, don't beavers actually eat wood? Like in the wild, right? Do they actually eat the wood? Or are they just like, like chewing on it? Because I know, don't their teeth keep growing like rats? You know, because I know rats, like, that's why they chew on stuff. Because their teeth never stop growing so if rats and well mice too for that matter if they did not chew on like everything then their teeth would grow into their brains into their skulls and you know what so i mean can we really brain the blame brain let's brain them brain them right now get them no can we uh can we really blame those uh those little guys you know i mean shoot i'd probably be chewing on everything too you know you probably would too right if uh if you were a rat you know? Ah, that's right. We don't like rats around here. Ooh, no narcs. You don't talk to the cops. There's no beaver cops around here, baby. <laughs> ah, that's a fun joke. Anyway, um, yeah, shoot. Uh, rodent knowledge with Papa Cheddar. I actually, you know, fun fact, I used to be an exterminator. I did. So I used to deal with, uh, oh, we got a lot of logs. We got a lot of logs, baby. We can build all kinds of stuff. I'm going to slow down just for a minute. That's right. I got a whole slew and plethora of um of knowledge base on vomits dirty dirty little vomits although sometimes they can be kind of cute i don't know let's do a campfire because it's really it's really a jo enjoyable enjoyable it's so enjoyable to watch them um yeah it's a good spot watch them just like sit around pal around the campfire oh it's so cute just wait just wait until you see how they sit i know i know they've probably sat already but I haven't like zoomed up in on it and stuff yet, which I, oh, it's just so cute. It's just so stinking cute. Oh, here we go. Oh, nope, they're not gonna chill just, okay, hang on, hang on. We're almost, here we go. We got our beautiful little campfire. Come on, someone, okay, here we go. Now they're palling around the campfire. Look at them. They're just, their little tails sitting between their legs. Oh, that's adorable. That's, that's a beautiful sight right there. If that's not a thumbnail, I don't know what is. I'm going to try and make that a thumbnail. So meow, we can unlock the forester with our 60 beautiful science points. However, that does require some planks, which means we're going to need a, a lumber mill. Right about, let's just stick it. Yeah, right, right there. Yeah, let's stick it right there. Why not? But uh, the lumber mill... It requires a few HPs. I'm not talking health points, baby. Oh no, we're talking power. Get a little water wheel, water wheel action moving there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And this will, we can also like do a hamster, hamster powered. It's so funny. Like uh, here, hang on, let me. Yeah, it's like a little mouse wheel. Oh no, see that? Uh, I can't really move my mouse too much, but a little hamster will get in here, and they'll just start running, which powers the wheel, which powers the. Uh, you know, whatever building you want to go into. So during the dry season, having this little powered hamster or beaver powered wheel, my bobber thing, power wheel is what it's called. <laughs> um, during the dry season, it's instrumental. You absolutely need to have it because otherwise, um, well, you're just going to have no power. The water ain't going to be flowing. And look, oh, we got some carrots. We got some beautiful carrots here, baby. Mm, look at that. Nutrition's already going up. It's already going up. I love it. I love it. Do you love it? Oh, yes, we both love it. Outstanding stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Outstanding stuff. Oh, there we go. Look at this power wheel moving and grooving, turning on the industry of our uh, our beautiful little lumber mill here, which we need to assign somebody to, which I think we will. Let's take away one of you. Okay. And then that should populate into the lumber mill. Oh, it didn't. It went down here. Okay, there we go. Now you should be in the lumber mill. No? 
All right, there's one thing, uh, a critique I have about this game is the assigning of the beavers. It's very hard to do. I, it's just, it's difficult, all right? It's, uh, it's hard. Where's our one unemployed beaver? You know, maybe they might live right here. Are you, nope, works at Builder's Hut. You're unemployed, okay. So, let's see meow, where's Mali Hana Hana Ha? Lives in Lodge, okay, so we're going to add a beaver, okay, and lose a beaver. And now, yep, that beaver should be right there. See, so you gotta kinda like watch. So this person living here couldn't go work in the um, the lumber mill because he's outside of the white line right here, baby. So that's how, why we had to shuffle. So I wish they could make that a little bit more intuitive of a process as far as like, you know, assigning beavers to uh, to proper areas and stuff. Because it, it just doesn't work out very well right now. You know, it just doesn't. I'll, I'll admit it. And no, not a lumber mill. We want a forester. We want a forester. We want a forester. Let's go put it right here. Yeah, that's a good spot. Boop, let's do that. There we go. And we can just sneak in a, a handy dandy little road right back here, baby. Meow. And yum. There we go. That's adorable. And then we can start replanting some trees, which is going to be super duper crucial. Super duper crush, baby. Soups. Soups, but crush. Some birch. Some nice, beautiful birch. And we can also plant berries, which is another good thing to do. A good thing to plant. Berries. Berries. They won't grow right there, but you know what? What the heck? Let's just fill it out. I might turn the rest of this into farmland, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Build that up. And our planks are not coming in. Oh, but we do have potatoes coming in, and the potatoes, those actually need, we need a grill for those. Let's see, what is this, the corner side bistro right here? Yeah, corner side bistro. Boom. Shoot, we need more beavers, though. These beavers got to quit working and get busy. That's right. Start getting your freak on, baby. Get down with the beaver cell. Mm. Mm. Oh, here we go. We're getting the warning flashing. The dry season is approaching. And approaching it is. So I think to prepare for that a little bit, I might, let's see, eventually I want to put another water collector somewhere. But uh, let's see. I might just stash a couple of tanks maybe right there. There's a tank. Yeah, we'll put a tank right there. And then we'll just shoot, keep on going on Tanker Alley. Because why the heck not? Okay, grill's up and run. We got Pier, Pier Bag there. He's going to make some grilled potatoes. Now, these are nice because you turn four or one potato into four grilled potatoes. So it's really good, like, tater to tater, uh, you know, ratios or whatever. And we're average well-being. These guys are averagely doing all right. That's good. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Average is better than bad. Yep. Average is, you know what? Average is a beautiful thing. Don't talk bad about average. All right. <clears throat> I'm, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with being average. Nothing at all. Let's get some more potatoes and change the subject, shall we? Ha! Ha ha ha! Look at that farm. It's great. Oh, that's a neat thing. Okay, I just found you can assign unemployed right here. Why can't you... Why can't I do that? Just assign unemployed. Maybe that's like a little buggy or something. No, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Because I just lost this beaver because I built this house and they moved. Oh, God dang it. Bob Saget. All right, the dry season has come on cycle one, day 19. So it does take a little minute or three, so the water's gonna start drying up, coming down this way, snaking. You guys can see we've made a good amount of little progress here. We got the forest going, we got our farm fields. I started branching out here with another little lumberjack to keep on choppity, chop chopping. So all in all, things are going pretty dang good in uh, Beavertopia or whatever. You know, it's not bad, it's not bad. Oh, there we go. Now the water, see it started, it receded. So luckily because we dammed the river, so it came here, dried up, but this flow stopped and we stopped right at our dam and then the flows continue going down. You can see these low pockets right here. But as it does get hotter and hotter, every level 
it's going to reduce down more and more. So like there's uh, I think you can like maybe dig out a deeper ravine or something. I just don't know how deep these uh, sucker pumps can suck. You know what I'm saying? But uh, for right meow, hey, we still have power. That doesn't make any sense. OK, maybe that was a glitch. I think that was a glitch. Nope. We should not have power. Really? That's got to be. OK, that we're glitching out right there. That's definitely we're bugging. We're bugging, baby. Um, but that's OK. It's uh, turn this builder back on so you can build this stinking thing. Um, yeah, that's going to that's going to weird me out. Yeah, shoot. So this is a uh, timber. Oh, shoot. What is this? Timber fall? No. Ah, it says right here. Timberborn. I knew that. I knew that. Uh, Timberborn, the adorable little game where you can watch. Look, that's our chef. A little beaver chef. He's covering himself because he's a good, decent gentleman. All right. As he grills the potatoes. Um, so yeah, wishlisted on Steam. It is, uh, it's still, it hasn't been released yet. Again, this is just the demo. But if you guys do enjoy it, go check it out for yourselves. I'll leave a link in the video description down below. Also, to you guys can hit me up on the old Twitter, the Instagram, and the Discord. I absolutely love it when you guys join me there. Ooh, let's go join them by the fire. Yeah, there we go. And if you did enjoy the video, please slap a like down below and hit the old subscribe button for your cheese daddy. Uh, I mean, these beavers did. You want to be as cool as a beaver, don't you? Like this guy? Oh, and he's gone. He's gone because, you know, he's... You guys are too cool. He just couldn't hang, right? He couldn't hang. He went to the uh he went to sit in the front of the bus with the nerds. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, I used to sit in the front of the bus. Um. Anywho, I'll catch you guys in the flippity flop. And as always, I love you. Bye.